Psycho Block, Seco Block, Deep Water Soling, DWS, it's all the same thing, and it's terrifying. Basically, it came out of the areas and regions over the ocean, cliff climbing. The challenge of Seco Block climbing is the falling. The climbing part is not the difficult part for these climbers. It's the actual mind game that plays. You're falling into the safety of the water, which can be scary. The Seco Block format is a unique format. It's a dual head-to-head -head competition between two climbers racing for the highest point on the wall or the top. Whoever gets there first is the winner. Last year's Seco Block comp, we had awesome duels between multiple climbers. Sasha dominating the competition, just running up in laps on this wall with Delaney Miller neck and neck the whole time. But my favorite is I want to see the Carlo Traversi, John Cardwell repeat. Those two were dueling, dueling the entire length and it came down to the last six inches of the wall when John Cardo barely beaten out Traversi. This year's event though, we have new blood. We got Sean McCall out of Canada, World Cup champion, and some young guns coming. We got Kai Leitner, we got Ashima. So this year's event's gonna be shaken up a little bit. Our qualifying round is held at Momentum Mill Creek on an August 6th. August 7th, we're having our semi-final round up at the Olympic Park. And August 8th is our finals.